All right, falling off your diet may happen once in a while. Speaking of Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> falling off your diet every, once in a while? How about all the time? How we make sure we stay on the right track. Now, after the break, we have a nutritionist and a very brave book author who will share her new book and give us tips on how to stick to our diets. Nutella in moderation. <laughs> yeah, we'll be right back. back. <laughs> Well, if you are having a hard time keeping up with your summer body, not eating the healthier food options, you're not alone, of course. Joining me this morning with tips on how to stick to your diet from her new book, Why Can't I Stick to My Diet, is author and nutritionist Erin Wathen. Thank you so much for being here this morning, Erin. Good to have you here. Thank you. Okay, so we're talking about this age old question why can't we stick to a diet? It's tough. It's really tough. There's a couple reasons why we can't stick to it. First of all, it's because we go on one with the mindset of getting off of it. <laughs> Think of it like we go on a merry-go-round because we're going to get off of it. Right. We don't do a true lifestyle change. Also, the food that we think is healthy oftentimes really isn't because of the portions, the sugar, and just the kind of little hidden things that we don't really know to look for. Marketers are really yeah. good at their jobs. So they, they market it with this idea of being healthy and then it tastes good. And then after we've been eating it for months, we find out, oh, it's really not so good yeah. for us. <laughs> and then there's a lot of like this halo effect where we think things are gonna be really good for us or we hear they're great. And next thing we know, we're like, wait, why are things fitting weird? So I brought in some things from this regular old grocery store that appear to be healthy and then actually have some sort of little They're minefields not. for you. So I'm a little bummed or, about this because this looks delicious. Yeah, it not is. Healthy. But there's some <laughs> sugar in there that would definitely impact your weight loss efforts or even just like keeping your body where you want it to be. So let's look at the sugar contents. I mean, oh my gosh, we're talking about 20 grams of sugar for a half a cup, which, which is like which nothing. Which is like that. Which I'm gonna eat like three cups, so that's, yeah. you know, multiply the 20 times three. My husband yeah. always does that. He never looks at the portion size, which yes. really does make a difference, because if you look at if you look at the number here and you think, oh, it's not so bad, but when you multiply it by the, by the serving size that you're actually going to have, it's not a good number. And weighing and measuring is a really good way to have a handle on how much we're consuming. And measuring cups, we all have them in our kitchen, but, but we never use them. <laughs> and then you go out to eat and then whatever. So um, this is another thing like, you're like, oh great, fiber and protein, pro prebiotics. That's a cool thing, right? And you look on the back, tons of sugar, you know, very little fiber. Like, so again, good intentions. And yet it's marketed as having a lot of fiber, so. And they hijacked us. Yeah. <laughs> um, yogurt is notorious for this. Because there's so, look at this, this is all basically jam. <laughs> 35 grams of carbs, 31 of that is sugar. Wow, So yeah. um, trail mix is also one of these things where it's in the healthy aisle, it's in the health-ish section. You're like, oh great, nuts. Then there's a bunch of chocolate yeah, in there. It's quarter, and it's a quarter cup, so even less of your, than your granola. Mm -hmm. But there's candy in here. Yeah. yeah. And then juice, which juice is great, right? Spikes your blood sugar, and when what comes up must come down. So great intentions, it seems healthy, very easy to get off track. And I was looking at this, and one of the things you say is why not to acai? And of course, acai bowls are really popular right now. So why, why do you say, what, what's wrong with acai? Is it just the bowls or the berries themselves? I like bowls. Bowls are a good okay. idea. I mean, that's a nice concept. <laughs> for fruit. It's first of all, the portions are gigantic. It's it's a lot of sugar, and there's nothing to slow it down. So when your blood sugar gets really jacked up really quickly, and then what happens? There's no protein in there. There's no fat in there. There's nothing to slow it down. So next thing you know, around 10 o'clock, you're feeling really sluggish, sluggish. and a little angry, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't get hangry. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the things that are good, right. that we can have. Okay. I see the Epic bars. My husband loves those. Yeah, these I actually are my personal things that I did travel with. Um, <laughs> my which, is, which is really the crux of, of a lot of, of diets and our lifestyles now, because our lifestyles are so on the go. We really kind of need those healthier options yeah. that are quick. Yeah, this is for my own personal stash. Olives, the good fat, 
easy to bring with you. I mean, if you eat them on a plane, I recommend you apologize to someone you're <laughs> next to. This is gonna have a smell. This is a cool bar. You have to get them online. A friend of mine makes them. It has kale in them. It has like a lot of things you don't really find in bars. Coconut. Let's hold it the other yeah. The camera there. Sorry. Rewind bars. Rewind bars. Okay. This is. Honest to God, it's meat. <laughs> and that's it. It's just it's meat. It's dehydrated, shriveled um, up, but it's like a hearty portion yeah. of jerky. This is cool too, because you can get it at a grocery store. And it's cauliflower, again, it won't jack your blood sugar. And it's a meal, so nice stuff. And if you really want that snacky thing, this is actually, this was next door to our trail mix. It's nuts. And it doesn't have the chocolate. It doesn't have chocolate. <laughs> but be aware of portions always with nuts. Super calorically dense and easy to OD. Fruit, what a concept. Versus, <laughs> you know, the candy of yogurt. And then this I thought was really cool, and I haven't seen these before. It's an egg, cheese, and nuts. It will satisfy you. Same amount of calories as the trail mix, but you will be feeling so much better than you ever would be if you went for the trail mix. Yes. Well, Aaron, thank you so much for the tips this morning. Again, if you want to look more into it, you can check out our book, Why I Can't Stick to My Diet. Hopefully we have some more tips in there. Appreciate the tips this morning, Aaron. We'll be back with uh, more coming up. But first, we're going to check in with Allie. A new watercolor exhibit is open at the California Center for Arts.